What is up guys, this is to go back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the Havoc OS based on Android Pie and this is the 19th November 2018 build. So let's see how is it. Well first of all about the customizations on this ROM, well oh my god, this is something about this and the customization levels of this ROM is insane and you won't get this kind of customizations in any kind of ROM in my opinion as of now and pretty much all the customizations are present over here like the brightness control while sliding a finger across the status bar, like the double tap to sleep, like the double tap to wake and like everything else like double tap to sleep on the navigation bar and a lot of stuff like these customizable quick settings buttons or the quick settings toggles everything almost everything is present over here on this room i do not have any kind of complaints regarding customizations even we have the power button long press to toggle torch while the screen is locked etc stuff so no customizations in my opinion are missing on this ROM. You can customize even the recent panel to switch to Pi or even Oreo style. And lot of customizations like that are present over here. I do not have any kind of complaints regarding customizations. You have everything. Like you can customize the whole UI like however you want. You don't need to worry. So let me just show you some of them in this video. You can change the quick settings header color to however you like. I have chosen it to be same as the UI accent color so that's why it is blue. In stock Android Pie it is actually black and you can have a ton of options for the quick tile styles. You can choose from ink, ink drop, mountain, ninja, normal, oreo or pie style but in my taste I like the square meadow one more. But at least you get a plethora of options to choose from and customize it. And of course we have a lot of accent color options and you can choose the UI color as well to dark, black or even light and automatic. And by the way there was a bug in Liquid Remix ROM that whenever you double tap to lock the screen and whenever you unlock the screen with the fingerprint scanner the screen brightness becomes a little bit a lot higher. So that bug is not present over here just note that. So any kind of bugs I did not see over here on this ROM. Now let's talk about the Google Pay, well is it working? Yes it is working but with a tweak. To use Google Pay or to set up Google Pay you just have to go to the Google Play services and then go to that app's permission then just disable the phone and SMS app permission for Google Play services. Then you can set up the Google Pay and it works just fine afterwards. Well now let's talk about the stock camera shall we? Well the stock camera present over here on this ROM by default is the Mi A2's camera or Mi UI camera and that works super fine portrait mode videos with stabilization does work super fine you don't need to worry and regarding camera to API it does have camera to API toggle inside settings but the thing is it, it's not enabled by default. You can just push the toggle and enable camera to API right away if you want to use Google camera or Pixel 3 camera. Now let's talk about the stock dialer. Well the stock dialer does have call recording option and vaulty calls and stuff does work super fine you don't need to worry at all. Well now let's talk is it better than liquid remix. Well liquid remix does have both google camera and the Mi A2's camera as well pre-installed by default so in my opinion that gets a thumbs up but even here you can do this pretty much. You don't need to worry about using google camera or even the pixel 3 camera and the Mi A2's camera at the same time. So over here you can do that too but by default we have only the Mi A2's camera. Not a disappointment I am pretty much okay with that so just note that and in case the customizations you are talking about well yes it has better customizations than the liquid remix ROM no doubts on that. Now let's talk about the battery life well the battery life over here is pretty much same as all the ROMs like you will get 7 to 8 hours of screen on time depending on your usage and you can definitely last your phone a full working day without any issues. Now let's talk about the performance or daily driving issues. Well in terms of daily driving I did not face any kind of issues on this ROM. Everything works like the torch or the vault or the fingerprint scanner everything does work super fine you even have stuff like face auto unlock and stuff. Like from the daily driving performance I did not see any kind of issues 
to hamper your daily driving usage of course but in the animations or you, if you want to compare this rom with pixel experience rom and stuff well all the android pie animations is present over here and regarding the stock launcher we have a pixel launcher and that has the google now cards to the left and stuff and it works super fine i do not have any kind of complaints over there the daily driving performance is super fluid super fine super fast whatever you want to call it well using this rom is a really amazing feeling well if i have suggested you in the past to use liquid remix rom i would say switch to have a quiz right now it's the time because the gaming performance daily driving performance customizations and a lot of stuff is a lot better over here because you can definitely feel the performance differences like the app open up speeds memory management and daily driving usage and even gaming performance is super duper fluid you don't need to worry at all regarding the performance over here so let me just show you quickly the about section and some stuff so inside about of course it shows android version as 9 you get the android pie easter egg from here the security patch is of november 5th 2018 which is the latest one the stock kernel here is the dart plus kernel and here is the build number if you want to see it and by the way if you want the double tap to wake functionality you will find that option inside display settings so that is pretty much it let me know in the comments what do you guys think and how do you feel about this rom i feel this is one amazing of a rom and i am pretty much using this rom as my daily driver on my redmi note 5 pro and i do not have any kind of issues and let me know if you want to flash this rom and you can definitely flash it from the links i mean the important files to flash this rom will be linked in the description box below so that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kd and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now